guys and welcome back. Don't worry, those are clean dishes. They're on the left side of the sink. If they were on the right, you'd know. So, making breakfast this morning and I guys, I literally just found out about this that Just found out about this that <laughs> that scared me. So now that I got a little frightened, don't laugh, don't laugh at me. I can't. That light's gonna go die anyways in a second. So this past week, I've learned about shredded cheddar cheese, and I never knew that there is cornstarch in here to prevent from clumping. This one does not say it. Read it out. This one does. It says, potato starch added to prevent caking. I don't know if you guys are gonna see it. The bottom line. never knew that and Adam never knew it either and like I finally figured it out this week so we're done using this cheese we're done no more cut we may use it for some recipes quick and easy instead of shredding it but we bought this stupid shredder and we hate it um it's horrible it's hard to use and you can't clean it for life like it'll, it has to sit in the sink for six washes so I didn't know that personally so we are done using this cheese no more. I'll shred my own cheddar cheese out of the block. But that's absolutely crazy. If you guys didn't know that, that it has potato starch and cornstarch in it to not make it mold together. That's something that you learn over time. I mean, my mom doesn't even know that. So I'm going to go eat breakfast. It's time to eat breakfast. So I'm going to eat breakfast. Right now I just have my normal routine. Three eggs, two sausages, and I added in some cheese and some bacon bites. So the, the seasonings I used is the pink Himalayan salt and the Mrs. Dash onion and herb, herb, onion and herb. Um, these two, great, they're together, they're perfect, they combine well, but I need that salt taste if I just use this, so that's why I use the pink Himalayan. And also I have to keep up on my salt. So I'll let you guys know what we do throughout the day. It has been a long time since we sat down and chit chatted, but so everything is going good with my foot. I tried to figure out what I want to vlog throughout the week. Like, should I do certain vlogs like how we make dinners or what dinners or desserts? So like I'm trying to figure out what kind of content I want on my page. So right now I'm just doing like a daily vlog, like what we eat in a day, full day of eating. So I showed you guys my breakfast for lunch. I'm having leftovers from last night and it's going to be the amazing cabbage and sausage. It's absolutely great. It tasted good the first day. It tasted like holushki if you closed your eyes. So, there is so much stuff going on outside my house. Like, we live in the middle of nowhere, and there's so much stuff going on. And we keep having power surges. That's what was before. That was a power surge. And boy, different lighting in my house makes me look, like, fabulous. Looks makes me look like a thousand bucks. That's what I'm kind of struggling with right now, is, like, trying to find out what kind of content I want to put on my page. Um, I know really people really love following me with my keto diet journey. Do you guys want to see makeup? What do you guys want to see? Because I recorded today, I recorded me doing my makeup. But I'm not going to post it because I wasn't ready for it and I kind of just winged it. And it's just not pretty. So if you guys want to see makeup, I'll talk about makeup. If you want to see products, I'll talk about products. If you guys want me to talk about anything you guys want, drop it in the comments below and or message me privately because i've had so many requests privately i'm okay with that if you have questions about the ketogenic diet like about health wise i'm not a doctor but i can guide you to the right direction and what questions you need to ask your doctor to talk about because that's what i did i asked somebody so i don't know what you guys want so i want to give you guys the viewers what they want so if you guys want to see more makeup or more the ketogenic diet my page is going to be mainly about the ketogenic diet because the ketogenic diet it's the most important part of my life is how we eat i can't go to the gym right now because i just it's overrated right now for my foot 
Right now for my foot, I'm at like 75% healed, which sucks because I feel like I'm at 100 and I can do a marathon, but I technically can't, can't even stand on my foot the right way. Like, ugh. and my therapist was like, well, we're gonna be with you. And meanwhile, I thought I'd be done within eight weeks. He's like, no, you, you're doing great. Your emotion's good. So I'm not going to the gym until after the wedding, sadly. So it is what it is, life happens. I'm losing my weight and I'm losing my inches with just the way I'm eating. So that's good. So guys, um, I will show you my lunch. I pack a little bit of pepperoni. It's a handful of pepperonis. That is for snacks if I get hungry. And then for lunch, I have the leftovers from yesterday, the cabbage and sausage. So that's gonna be my lunch for today. It was so filling yesterday, just a little bit. So today I feel amazing and I'm gonna check my keto. So guys, since I have a little extra time in my morning, I think, um, I'm going to test my ketones with my Keto Mojo. So let's see if I'm back in ketosis. I highly doubt it, but I know I'm better than I was the first time. I gotta massage my finger, so pause. I'm gonna look around, see if anyone's like. We live in the country, if you wanna say so. There's just 32 houses spread out in this area that we live in. So, if you get confused why I say we live in a country but we have houses near us, it's because, like, where I grew up, city, compared to this, we're a little country. All right, I think that's good. I cracked my knuckle. So let's prick this. I'm probably gonna pause it because I don't want you to see my face. I don't, it doesn't hurt. God, you son of a bitch. Good. So, it worked. <laughs> Just gotta squeeze it somewhere. Put the memory card in. What the tip is when you do this is to have your hand down. I'm so excited, I'm back in ketosis. That was really quick. I am 0.8. I'm so pumped, yesterday I was low, wow. I got back into ketosis really quick. So I'm super excited, I am at 0.8. Oh, there's my neighbor walking his pooch. I'm at 0.8, so that's super exciting to know. Cause yesterday, and I've been trying to get back into ketosis the past two days, so, I'm super excited. Super excited. Hey guys, I'm back from work. So, I got home and we're gonna be leaving in an hour to go to the chiropractor. So, I ate my lunch today for the first time in like a couple days. I ate my lunch today and I ate some pepperoni. That was it, all day today. I'll keep you guys posted because his dad's here and guys the hot tub is completely torn apart so I'll let you guys know I'll keep you posted what we're doing for dinner I To, he's gonna make so much noise. We just went to Smoky Bones for dinner. I'll insert a clip of what we got. And now we're gonna go creep past where the show Mine Hunters off on Netflix is filmed. 
and where they station all their cars. And then we're gonna go to Walmart because I need to get a few items. Yeah? Sure. He ate really good and I ate really good. So, if you're obsessed with this show, find Hunters on Netflix. They park their vehicles at Pittsburgh Mills' mall. There's a bus. Oh my gosh. Look at all these cars. All of these cars are filmed. The bus is going to be probably in the show. Napa truck. A Napa truck. That's the Virginia prison, prison bus. There's all the had dads. Oh, that's so freaking cool. They have a security guard sitting at the front of the gate. <laughs> Putting something on the side of the bus now. Yeah, I see your So there's all the old cars for this show. Y'all gotta watch it. It's called Mind Hunters. Like we get super excited because the show is amazing and we actually like it. I wish I could go in and see them acting because they're we think they're acting because there's big generators in the back. So that'd be really freaking cool if we've seen some of the actors. I don't know who they are, but <laughs> it's really good. So we're gonna go to Walmart. So guys, that concludes this vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a basic, simple day. I will be vlogging tomorrow and probably the rest of the weekend, but it all depends. So tomorrow we'll be eating the chicken salad and leftovers, because we didn't bring anything home, except he brought his ribs home. But I didn't bring anything home. I only had one little patty. So. I will keep you guys posted on what's going on and guys I hope you guys had a fabulous Wednesday and a fabulous Thursday morning he always ruins it came just in the perfect timing come on say my slogan come here my slogan always live life with a smile you sound like you're being forced I am <laughs> all right guys bye